Chris. Appreciate it. They work around the clock. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their mission, to ensure enough sand covers our beaches. We're talking about three million cubic yards of sand. Their headquarters, three miles off our coast. Meet Howard Horry, the captain in charge. I'm going to say 95% of the time, everything is real smooth around here. The other 5%, depending on weather and, um, you know, breakdowns, it can be a little, little ten tenuous. Work never stops here aboard the Padre Island. You can look high or low or inside. The crew is everywhere. Their office is their home. It's the best thing and the worst thing. The best thing is I work three weeks on, three weeks off, and when I'm home, it's my time. There's, uh, I don't get bothered. You know, it's, it, if my kids have a baseball game or whatever, I'm there for it. The worst part is when you're wet work, you miss it all. So you get all or, or nothing. 18 crew members live on board. They work six hours on, six hours off. The reason I'm whispering on this level, people are sleeping. So it's, it's a different lifestyle, but it's nice having the three weeks off at a, at a clip. Crew members are from all over, as far north as Maine, as far as south as Florida and beyond. Right now, both my mates are actually from San Juan, Puerto Rico. They travel across the world using this massive watercraft to pump sand to the coast. They're pulling sand and water from the, from the bottom of the ocean floor, and it goes through a series of pumps. On land, another crew smooths the small mountains into a beach. As for the Padre Island crew, they don't get to venture onto the Renewer shore. They go straight from the boat to the airport, the airport to the boat. One of the hardest parts from here for us is we don't get to see the end result. You know, we're on the ship, we see it through binoculars, we really don't get a feel for it. Still, they leave it for us to enjoy. In Myrtle Beach, Amanda Kinsett, News Channel 15.